Hi, I'm Mrs McTaggart and welcome to this video. We're going to be doing sharing in a given ratio and there are two different methods to this. This is what I call the ADAM method. ADAM is an acronym that helps you remember how to do these questions. Prior knowledge should be that you're familiar with doing simplifying ratios and ratio calculations. Right, let's get going and see. Okay, so these questions are looking at when we're sharing money or chocolate or um, working out the, the ratio of seats at a cinema that are unequal. Um, to make it simple, we start with we start with money though, and say we're going to share, um, thirty five pounds between Ross and Louis, in the ratio of three to two. So what you need to think of is that Ross is going to get three shares compared to Louis two shares. So I'm just going to first of all always write this out as a ratio. So we've got Ross. To Louis. And the ratio is three to two. Right, I've talked about this Adam method. This is a little acronym to help you remember them order to do here. So what you do is, the first thing you do is you do three add two. So you add the ratios, three add two equals five. So we're going to split this money into five shares. So we're going to divide the money into five. So 35 divided by five equals seven. And what that's doing is that tells you what one share is worth. One share is worth seven pounds. And then finally, we multiply by that number. So we do three times seven, because Ross is getting three shares of seven. So Ross will get 21. And Louis will get two lots of seven. So Louis will get 14. Sorry, I'm having a real issue with my pen today. And then to conclude the question, I would say, right, well, Ross gets 21 pounds. Louis gets 14 pounds. And a quick check, 21 and 14 adds to 35. And if you were to simplify that ratio, 21 to 14, right down, you'd get 3 to 2. Let's have a look at another one. Okay, so this time we're going to share 40 sweets in the ratio 3 to 5. Jenna and Bex. So for short, we're just going to write Jenna and Bex as Jai to B. They're going to have the sweets in the ratio 3 to 5. So first thing we do is we add the ratios. So we do 3 plus 5 equals 8. Then we divide the sweets into 8. So you do 40 divided by 8 is 5. And that means that one share is worth 5. And then we multiply. So you do 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 5. That's a 5. Here's 25. So to include the question, Jenna gets 15 sweets and Bex gets 40. No, what am I doing? I'm looking at back up at the question there. Jenna gets 25 sweets. And again, for 15, add 25 gives you 40. Okay, this one, we're going to share slightly bigger numbers this time. Don't let it put you off. It's the same method. So we have Dave and Hallie sharing six hundred and thirty pounds and the ratio two to three so let's add two plus three equals five then we're going to divide six hundred and thirty divided by five i'm going to do a little sum for this one five into six goes one remainder one five into thirteen is two remainder three and five into three is six so each share is 126 this time so when i multiply i'm going to have to do two times 126 so 2 times 126, that's not too bad to do. That would be £252. You can do sums if you need to. And then I'm going to do 3 times 126, maybe a little sum at the side needed. 3 times 6 is 18. 3 times 2 is 6, add 1 is 7. And 3 times 1 is 3. So this would give me £378. So to include it, Dave... Excuse my writing, gets £252. Hallie gets £378. And again, them added back together would give me my £630. Okay, for my final example, I'm going to show that this works just the exact same whether you have got two or three people in the question. So this time we've got, oops, a daisy. This time we've got three people. We have got Eden, we have got George, and we have got Calvin. They are sharing £2,700 in the ratio 2 
to 3 to 4. Right, when we add up our 2, our 3 and our 4, that gives us 9. So we're going to divide this money by 9. So we're doing 2,700 divided by 9. And that's just going to be 300. We can ignore the zeros for a second, put them back on. So then we'll do 2 times 300. So Eden will get 600. 3 times 300 will be 900. And then 4 times 300 will be 1,000. £200. So to include it, Eden gets £600. George gets £900. And Calvin. Well, Calvin gets the most, doesn't he? Calvin gets £1,200. Okay, so that's the end of my examples. They've got gradually more difficult. I hope they've been okay. If you want, there are questions here. You can try in the video. There are 12 of them. You can maybe pause this and have a wee go at these questions. And then when you're done, um, unpause and the answers will appear. Like magic, there are your answers there. Um, I hope this has helped. Thanks very much. Bye.